Hey kids and welcome back. In the last episode, we went through Route 5 and de dealt with Hugh and parts of Team Plasma. In this episode, we are going to explore some of Dritfail City. Now with Dritfail City, it's actually, uh, there's uh, like a bunch of things to do. So I'm going to do it um, by talking to all of the people right after I heal my Pokemon. So there's just... This is a lot of things to do, and I, I don't remember what to do and stuff, so, uh, for safe purposes, we're going to talk with everyone in Driftvale City. Yeah, and so Driftvale City is, has changed over the last two years because, um, of its hotels, and it looks a lot, looks a lot cooler. Uh, and here you can get yourself luxury balls. Five of those are nice. Yeah, so Driftvale City, you know, doesn't look like dirt anymore. Yep, see? That's pretty cool. Like diamonds. Oh, why don't we talk to him? Like I said, I don't really know. It's been it's been rough. So this uh So this building right here would have to be the Grand Hotel Driftvale. Uh, talk to this guy, and he should give you a shell bell. It's a good item. Heals your Pokemon, or heals your Pokemon by... Not sure. Depends on the attack it receives. <coughs> okay. Yeah, and so there you go, a diamond. See, look how rich it is. Now, that's a bit strange. Proportion-wise, once again, this is level 14. If you go if you go outside of this hotel it doesn't look doesn't look too uh doesn't look too big. Let's see what these guys are doing. Oops. Okay, never mind. Now going to level nineteen. Yes, let us do that. Alright. Uh, here you got yourself, uh... Oh, talk to this Aksu, and I believe you can get, uh, a Nab Berry. Hanba. Hanban Berry. A Nab Berry. Never mind. Yep, talk to that Aksu, and I believe that would be it for this building. If I'm not mistaken. No, stop! Okay. Yeah, so because of, uh, uh, the mayor, um, Jeffield City's, uh, gym leader, Clay, this is how they got so rich. I mean, they had to make hotels and everything, and look at them, they're spiffing out right now. Don't need no fish shop anymore. Um, let's go into this building. Uh, let's talk to this thug right over here. Talking about surf, I guess. Hello. Uh, yeah, let's go in here. And this would be the Driftville Continental Hotel. Aren't we getting fancy? Okay. Disposable items, right? Understand that. I'm sorry about the uh, DS moving a lot. Just kind of being rough with my DS right now, so that I can talk to people and stuff. All right. Let us go to the 23rd floor. Okay. Hello. Hmm. Oh, that Pokemon over there is intimidating me. Maybe it's got the intimidate ability. Ho ho ho! <coughs> Alright, the 25th floor. Should be the last one here. Okay. I believe he does give you something. There you go, a big root. It's like an herb, so, um. Do that to your Pokemon, heals 20%, but it lowers your friendship just a little bit. Alright, going back to the first floor. Ok, 
Okay. Getting out of here now. Alright, so we did that. Why don't we go into these two things right over here. So this is the Jiffo Chateau Hotel. Uh, you can find the Master Move Tutor. Red Shards. So let's see we can what we can do with these red shards. Bug Bite Drill Run, S Signal Beam, Iron Head, Super Fang, Uproar, Seed Bomb, Seed Bomb. We have four, but we can't really do anything right now. And those punches might actually come in handy. Who knows? Alright. Okay. You don't really have that much information. Go to the next part. The eleventh floor. Wow. Okay. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, you talk about uh evolution through trading. Okay, the last floor is the 25th floor, and then I think we have covered all of the houses. Oh, no, we haven't. No, we haven't. There is one more hotel. You get yourself an air balloon. What an air balloon does is really good in competitive battling. Um, basically, it just lets your p Pokemon levitate. Uh, so it's like immune to uh, um, earthquake or ground type moves. But if it's hit by a physical attack, then um, it'll pop, and so then you won't be able to levitate anymore. That's just your basics. Alright, now that we're done with this building, I'm gonna talk to this little guy. Okay. Alright. Go into here. Now this is your this is your area to be. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna sell you Moomoo Milks, uh, buy plenty of those, they're, they're gonna be really helpful during battles. They're like, they're really cheap and, uh, really good. Heals 100, 100, uh, HP hit points. So it's nice. Uh, talk to this guy over here and he will give you... An Expert Belt! So if you show him a level, uh, Pokemon over 30, then you'll get yourself an Expert Belt. Um, former X team, former team plasma member. Let's see. Yeah, these are the incenses. Okay. Yeah, and she's gonna talk about Charles. Charles is in this uh place now. And uh, you can battle him, but now since it was a rotation battle, you can do it. Uh, a triple battle basically so there you go there's Charles over there you can you can battle him if you want to but we're not going to just for the sake of completing early get yourself TM 63 embargo um, basically you use that move your I believe your um, opponent cannot you cannot heal Oh, fence. Hello there. Alright, so now we're going into this building. The Driftvale Luxury Suits. Suites or suits. I don't know how to pronounce them. Uh, talk to this guy. Doesn't do anything. Uh, talk to this little girl over here. Yes. Oh, yeah, um... Show her a certain type of move and she'll give you a heart skill. So that's kind of helpful if you are in need of help, uh, heart skills. Yeah, so it's like really infinite. One per day though, one per day. Okay, um. Oh, nothing here. Don't think so. And then moving around over here. Okay. What do you have to say? Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, so I think we're done. 
think with the, we're done with all the buildings here now. Now what we can do is go to the X-Team Plasma Base. Yeah. That would be the church um, just north of Driftdale City. So let us do that. Let's get on our bike and zoom. Awesome. So before you want to do that, you probably want to heal your Pokemon and, um, you know, get ready for the battle. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm probably going to keep out Sammy just for the heck of it. Because fighting types are going to be your best shot around here. But that's fine. <coughs> and so this is one of the seven sages. Rude. Yep. And you can battle him. Sweet! He's like, oh, I'm going to test your strength. There you go. And that's one of the seven sages. You can fight another, sa seven, uh, another sage. But that's later in the game. Alright, so he's going to lead off with the herd here. Oh, man. So he's going to set up that Intimidate, man. Alright, um... I guess we'll go for the side. Oh, crap. No, I didn't want to do that. Oh, critical hit. Nice. That's not one of what I... That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to, um... Use side shock. There we go. When you go down, uh, Subat is coming out. Should I switch? Yeah, I don't think uh, Sammy can do anything that good. So, Subat. Hmm. Let's see if Rin can handle this. Come on, Rin. Even though you're grass type, you can do it. Alright, so you got your Subat right over there. Uh, I'm going to use the Swords Dance. And then a Bite. Oh, I see. One Swords Dance should be enough to get a two-hit KO around. Oh. Alright, let's bite that thing. Yes! Perfect! Indeed, 100%. Awesome. But it's really unfortunate I don't have any attacking, uh, grass type attacking moves. That kind of sucks. And so that's just basically, uh, it. And he's gonna be like, oh, oh man, where's my power line, yo? Where's my power line? Like, I don't know where it is. Why are you asking me? Yep, and so he's just gonna talk, and he's gonna talk, and he's like, Give my, give my parlor back. And it's like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have that anymore. Yep, so this is Team Plasma Space now. This is where they take care of, uh, Pokemon. Yeah. Alright, so he's, now he's gonna be like, oh, yeah, kid suffer. So, anyways, uh, do you want the Zorua? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say yes anyways, but I don't have any room. So, I'm going to be right back and get that Zora. Yeah, I should cut this part out. And we're back. Oh my god, what is going on? Yep. And so, if you've done that memory link once again, you will have yourself another, um, memory link, uh, event. So that Zora does show you this, uh, thing. And this is about how um, they're talking about their lives now, now being uh, apart from the new Team Plasma. Yes. So there isn't much to say. Hey, don't hit him. Wow, I just noticed a lot of uh, Pokemon is really endorsing violence. Especially for Hugh. And then out of the corner, here comes N. Yes. N is still alive, do not worry. And he says he's happy that his uh, followers are loyal to him. And he still thinks that his ideals are worthy. 
Okay. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm out of here now. I don't want to be here. Uh, I think we should get out and get that, uh, Zora again. <laughs> ah, there we go. Why is everyone back now? Whew. So we're going to keep this Zora. Woohoo! Unfortunately, you cannot name the Zora because it is under the trainer and the Zora is special because it'll give off that magical, mystical glow. Different, it's by a different trainer. Alright guys, so this concludes today's episode of Pokemon Black 2, Driftvale City, man. Now in the next episode, we are going to challenge the gym leader. Yeah, Driftvale City Gym. Coming up. See you guys next time.